Yo, what's up, everybody? How we doing today? Pete Peterson with Dreams Huge Realty and my man, Rylan Wallace. Pete. Smiling Rylan, how you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Good, excellent. Thanks for joining us. Rylan's doing the giveaway this week. $100 of Pin Hook Meats down in Lucas. Yes, one of our favorite local businesses. My man, JJ Trump Power and the crew down there in Lucas giving away 100 bucks today. But you're going to have to stay tuned to the end of the show for that one, all right? So... Today's show, we've got a few things, uh, topics. Oh, we've got fashion, first off and foremost. Um, so if you didn't know, Friday's Hawaiian shirt day. Yep. So great job with the Hawaiian shirt. You got the memo, you got the lay even. Thank you. Dang, hang loose, guys, have fun. No matter what you do, if you, don't, if you, uh, if you ain't having fun, it ain't worth it, guys. So make sure you're having fun, whatever you do. Um, I dress mine up a little bit. Is that okay? You're looking good. Does that work? You got the pocket square. I got the Hawaiian shirt with the pocket square. Yeah, we're going to do a whole show just on pocket squares one of these days. We'll teach you how to fold them. Rylan and I got that down to a science. Um, so I went, with the, I went untucked with the suit jacket. Is that okay? Can you do that? Is that breaking any fashion etiquette? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. I mean, it looks good. All does right. Pete, does Pete look good? I All think right. he looks good. Thumbs up, thumbs down. He always looks good. Okay. And I just got this at my cousin's wedding. There you go. Congrats. Lizzie and Jordan, congrats. Congrats, Lizzie and Jordan, yes. All right, so that's the fashion portion of the show. When we do Move that, on. we'll let a yep. few people jump on here. We, we got some live viewers on there, so thank you for watching. Let's get right into the market. Um, you got asked this the other day, is the market cooling off? In short, what would you say? Is the market mm -hmm. cooling off, yes no. or no? no? No is the correct answer, yes. Because as recent as July, um, these are nationwide numbers. 18% increase year over year this July. And uh, so from 2020 July to 2021 July, the average selling price is up 18%. Yeah, that sounds like a big, a big number, right? Yeah. Well, that's because it is a big number. It's a record-breaking number. 18% year over year is a new high for year over year growth. So that's continuing to grow, that's July. Can't wait to bring you August. Um, national numbers are always a little bit behind. Um, oh, we gotta thank you from Mandy for the gift card to the Blueberry Patch from last week. Awesome, thank you, Mandy. Uh, appreciate that. So yeah, if you got any questions, comments, drop them right now because that's why we're live. We love the interaction. Uh, we could record this and post it later, but I love the live interaction if you have any questions. Um, and further down, 7% fewer listings nationwide this, this same time, uh, this time now versus this same time last year. So prices up, listings down, supply and demand, the old rule, right? Yep. Simple common sense would tell you it is hot and it's continuing to heat up, no signs of slowing yet. Okay, Diana uh, Donovan, amazing teammate of ours, had a great point though. We always talk so much seller's market, seller's market. It's a crazy hot seller's market. Well, what about the buyers out there, right? What if you're a buyer in this market? Okay? Have fun. Yeah, have fun, right? <laughs> exactly. But there are some things. Um, you know, I'm a buyer in this market. I just bought some properties just last month. Um, so we are practicing what we preach when we say a few things for buyers to keep in mind. Low rates. Okay, I know prices are high, but you have historically low rates on your side. Yes. Okay? And uh, take advantage of that. Um, prices are up, yes. Oh, we got, we got a shout out for some yep. low rates. And here's a good person to talk to about your rates right here. There you go, Michelle Wallace. Michelle Wallace. Yes, Union Home Mortgage. We love working with Michelle. Man, she does an amazing job. So shout out to Michelle Wallace. Um, so take advantage of those low rates if you're a buyer in this market. Prices up, up, up. Okay, what does that mean? Hopefully you can see that red ink on there. But yes, prices are up now, but guess what? For the next few years, they're gonna continue up. So those of you who are saying, I'm gonna hold out and wait until this turns into a buyer's market, you, be, you may be waiting a long time. Um, so just, just know that. And again, yeah, it feels like prices are up here in Richland County, but we are still $100,000 less than the national average. 100 grand less. So I think and feel that we have a lot of room yet for price appreciation. A lot of room. Um, also, if you're a buyer in this hot seller's market, look for, uh, be on the lookout for DOM. Any ideas what DOM stands for out there, my live viewers, DOM? 
DOM stands for days on market, and we can help you with that. Um, the longer a property sits on the market, the more likely they are to budge on the price. So we can help you and we can do, we can search by days on market and bring you properties that have been on the market for a while. Um, and they'd be yeah. maybe willing to negotiate a little bit more than some of these hot properties that Ryland just had one. Yeah, they might, might have to turn into HOM. No, that stands for? No. Hours on market. Hours on market, literally. So you, that's a great point. So Ryland, you just listed a house in Lucas um, it, and it was how many hours on the market, roughly? Less than 36 hours. Wow, and we can't give away details of the offer or anything, but let's just say this, it was a very strong, hard offer to be yeah. um, Less than 36 hours, but you know that's what we're here to help you do. Um, so great job on that. And also, for these properties that have spent several days, you know, months on market, um, what you also want to look at is ARV, after repair value, okay? And we can help you with that as well. If you're looking for these ugly houses, the dated ones, the ones that need a lot of work, right? Those are the houses that are sitting on the market for a while. We can help you look into those and see what you can buy them at, see what you need to invest in it to stay within that ARV, that after repair value. You don't want to invest too much because then you'll be underwater. You want to be able to buy it right, invest what's needed and still be at market value um, consider it you know always considering resale i know uh, a lot of folks think they're going to own their home forever yeah. or even their investment properties but you should always have resale in mind a great investment friend of mine always preaches that he says always keep that in mind because people's lives change day to day so when you know buying and investing and Fixing up a property, always keep resale, that ARV value, after repair value in mind. So Some other stuff yeah. you might hear too is price, uh, they might think if the price is high and make the people tell you no. If you want to put an offer in, make them tell you no. If it's 20000 30, 50000 under, make them tell you no because you never know what the situation could be. Absolutely. Get a no out of them, especially if you got a lot of these right here. If you got a lot of days on market at least get a no from them, get the conversation started, and they may not only tell you no, but they may, may throw you a counter as yeah. well. Yeah, so get the conversation started. Absolutely, great point, Ryland. Okay, so let's get over to the local market. Richland County, Ohio, 2.61 months on the market. That is a seller's market, folks. Um, anything less than six months of inventory, that's how long with the current sale rate, it would take 2.61 months to clear all the inventory off the market in Richland County. Um, again, anything under six or under is a seller's market. Anything six or over is a buyer's market. So you can see we're still firmly uh, within the seller's market range there. Average selling price, 175000 and change. Richland County, Ohio, average selling price. Last year's price, look at that. Can you guys see that? 160000 and change. So up 15 grand over last year. Actually down a thousand over last month though, yeah, I noticed. I, I did that. notice that. Um, so it is, I think, which I believe is just a blip. Okay, we're gonna see continued price increases over time. So, you know, what this, they're predicting this will be up another 5% next year at this time. At the minimum, okay, another add another 5% to this. This is where we were last year, 160, add 15 grand onto this year. So big price jump there. Okay, now let me get my notes. All right, now we're gonna get into square footage. Sold price per square foot. Um, starting off with Clear Fork. Clear Fork, 150 per square foot, which is up over last month. Hopefully you guys can see that, all right. Ontario. 126, which is up over last month, 126. Lexington, 120, which is up, I'm sorry, Lexington is down. Lexington is down a blip, 120. Madison is up at 102, up over last month. Shelby is down a blip. And Mansfield, Mansfield TY Tigers continue to climb. 85, up. Oh, I shouldn't say TY Tigers, there's other schools in Mansfield, yeah. right? St. Pete's, 
Spartans, Lucas. Luke. Lucas isn't quite in Mansfield, but true. Yeah, they're in their own area. They're, they're, <laughs> Luke, I didn't do Lucas. You know what? Ryland's going to post. Ryland's our specialist in Lucas. Stay tuned. He's going to post. Uh, he's going to do some research, and he's going to let you know what the average selling price is in Lucas. I, I bet it's pretty crazy. Yeah, I, I bet say, you. I bet you it's in this range yeah, right here, one twenty-ish. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, so yeah, Mansfield A5. Oh, yeah, yeah, and of course you have Mansfield Christian. Okay, when we say Mansfield, we mean Mansfield City School area. Okay, I do realize there's more schools um, in, the, in the area. Um, Temple Christian, we got Brian running right here as well. He's off camera, that's another Mansfield school. So, yeah. Um, so that is your local school district report. Okay, let's get to the giveaway. What everybody's waiting for. Um, now we had a lot of folks, we had over 2,000 views on the post, okay? Wow, awesome job, thank you for viewing that. Um, but you guys gotta make sure that you're liking our page. A lot of, not many of you did the complete four step entry process, okay? So I'm gonna review that for you this week. Get your pencils out, um, get your notepads out. You're gonna like our page. Um, like and or follow our business page, yep. Dream Huge Realty. Um, you're gonna like and share the post, like and share the actual post, um, which in this case was of Ryland holding up the uh, gift card. And then don't forget to tag a friend who would also like to win. You have to tag a friend in the comments, okay? But we did have, believe it or not, some people can read and follow directions. So oh, yeah. we do have some entrants here. So Ryland, <laughs> reach in there and get us our winner. You might have to look so you don't grab more than one kind of. I mean, you one. can't see the names, but... I just got one there? Yeah, you just got one. one. All right. Who do we got? Sheila Stumbo. Sheila Stumbo, congrats. You have won $100 to get you some of that good, excellent meat. Sheila Those Stumbo. steaks, that pin hook meats, and that awesome potato salad and pasta salad yeah. that JJ and the crew made famous down there. So awesome, Sheila Stumbo, congrats. And we're gonna be giving away 100 bucks next week as well. That's so much fun, we're gonna do it again. So stay tuned for that. Um, I think that's all we got for today. Rylan, anything else? Uh, Lucas football tonight in Willard. There we go. Football Friday night. Yeah. How do you? How much do you love it? And the Lucas Cubbies continuing to roll. Oh, I think yeah. Mansfield's three and zero as yeah. well. Um, so yeah, very cool. Love watching that and getting out there and supporting those local teams. So um, hey, everybody have a good weekend. And until we see you next time, remember the rules. Oh yeah. Work, Work hard. hard. Never, never give, give up. up and, and dream, dream huge. huge.